What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Joss 74, and today I'll be bringing you guys more news and rumors about Black Ops 3. Now, one of the rumors that I've been bringing off Twitter is that uh, apparently the Black Ops 3 game will be bringing back supply drops. Good idea or bad idea? In my opinion, the supply drop concept worked perfectly well in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Even though I hated the game, I hated Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but the supply drop concept, that shit should have been applied since Modern Warfare 2. Unlocking weapons, unlocking equipment that you can put on your on your player uh, by, by unlocking supply drops, it was a good concept. I can't believe they didn't thought of this before. So, um, the supply drop concept should be coming back. Hopefully they do, because I'd rather grind for that than for, um, just get some kills and do some goals just to unlock that certain piece of equipment. Because it will get boring, like, oh, get like 200 crouch kills in order for you to unlock this badass helmet, like... Yeah, no. The supply drop will actually make you play a lot more because you're like waiting for that equipment to appear. Like, okay, once I get into this equipment, you know, I will stop playing. So it actually makes you play more. So it is a good concept, uh, Activision, but just don't do this, what I'm about to say. Now, the supply drop concept could be bad at the same time because if you guys have heard already, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is already selling supply drops. You can actually purchase supply drops like for a dollar or two. So the problem that I see with this is that what happens if all the rare equipment and weapons are only in the purchasable supply drops? How would you feel if all the badass, badass weapons, all the elite weapons were only in the purchasable supply drops? It would be bullshit, wouldn't it? It would be fucking bullshit. Like, do not make us pay a dollar more just to unlock the badass weapon that we all needed. Fuck no, man. That's gonna make me stop all the time because now that we all know the rare weapons and equipment are only the purchasable ones, it's gonna make us stop playing because that's the only way you can unlock it. You gotta pay to win. So, that's our pray. That's our hope. They don't do that kind of concept because that's what's gonna bring the morale down for everybody to play in the fucking game. Like, it's, it's, there's no point. There's no point no more because you can only buy them. So, um, anyways, my point is the supply drop should make a comeback. It was a good idea by uh, Infinity Ward or, or Sledgehammer Games. I don't know who made Call of Duty Events Warfare, but it was a great idea. And, um, you know, it makes you play a lot more. Uh, you don't even know what you're going to get because it's always randomized. So you can't even tell if it's elite or not because the freaking box is not flashing into a different color, which would be good, though. That would be something extra to add to the supply drops in Black Ops 3. You know, make it flash like red. If it's red, it's elite. If it's green, it's just a reg regular guns. Or if it's blue, it means it's the mid-level guns. You know, just make it into more creative style supply drops. going to make it more fancy, you know. Decorate the cake. Do not give us a plain old cake, man. Do not give me just a fucking bread, you know. That's a fucking cake. No. You gotta fucking decorate it. You know, put some fucking, you know, dressing on it. Pink dressing, white dressing, you know. Just make it for a birthday party. Do not bring me a plain ass cake and expect me to eat it. Like, fuck no. You decorate that cake. So, supply drops. Make a comeback. But just don't do the concert that, that I just said. Do not make our rare weapons equipment into only purchasable supply drops so that is it. all i want to talk about hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background now this gameplay in the background was actually posted two years ago here in my channel and this was one of the best claim plays of all time i recommend to watch it i'll be putting the link in the description so you guys can watch it it was the biggest comeback of all time and committed in modern warfare 3 and also i got 81 kills in the gameplay so that is it subscribe for more guys so i don't see more black Ops 3 news and rumors